Welcome back everybody, the Bearded Prepper here. Today I want to give a demonstration of something that I've really been excited to try. I've uh, read and, and um, you know, seen maybe a little tutorial that without electricity, if you're in a grid down situation, maybe you don't have access to really um, either your, your preps or, or maybe you're not prepared. Maybe the grid's down, you don't have any way to cook. Um, you know, I've gone through some options with that in the outdoor setting, but you know, let's say maybe it's not safe, or maybe you live in the city or an urban setting and it's not safe to be outside, or you can't go out on the, uh, in, you know, in the backwoods and build a fire or whatever, you know, this, this is something that can apply really to anyone that has access to, uh, say candles, um, and just a few basic things. So I'm going to demonstrate how to cook bread using nothing but just a, um, a container like a pot. In this case, I'm gonna use a, um, you know, a small cast iron Dutch oven, which distributes the heat even more evenly. A handful of tea light candles and just, um, you know, the ingredients for bread. So I'm gonna see if we can make a little emergency candle oven to cook some bread in. Um, it will obviously take a little bit longer than, than what you would in your, your regular oven but uh, I encourage you guys to follow along with me. And if you like what you see, give it a try. Uh, learn a new skill and be prepared. Here we go. I'm going to use my oven just because, um, you know, I felt like it'd be more of a contained environment. Probably help the process. You can see I already have my tea light set up there. I've got a pan ready with some little yeast dough rising. And inside my Dutch oven, I've put four nuts. You can use anything that'll give a little bit of lift off the bottom. So the pan will have uh, the ability to let air circulate, you know, around it, even underneath. So, you know, the, um, the setup's gonna be that I'm gonna put the dough in the, in the pan, put the pan on the nuts. So you've got the airflow underneath. That's just a little bit of uh, oil and stuff. I'm gonna coat around the pan so it doesn't stick you cover it up with the lid on good and then you take that and put it right on top of the tea lights there and it'll probably take three to four hours um, let me get things set up and we'll get the process started you can see I've got my tea lights lit here in the oven and I'm just gonna take my little Dutch oven and set it right over the candles I've got the bread already in there on the position on the nuts like I had shown you so you just kind of want to get it as centered as possible so that you have a couple in the middle and then you can look underneath here um, if I can get my my prepper camera person to just kind of help me out. <laughs> you can look underneath. You can see the candles are burning. It just kind of rings it, traps the heat inside, and um, we're going to leave this, and I'm not going to open it or anything to let the heat out. It needs to stay in for at least... Um, I would say for at least three hours, we'll maybe check it then. So stick with me and we'll see how it turns out. Well, that was a bad idea, folks. I would not put it in the oven. It got so warm in there that the whole cluster of uh, candles actually caught on fire. Didn't know that was possible, but uh, the, uh, the paraffin wax or whatever's in those little tea lights is just blazing the uh, wicks are long gone but anyway we'll see what happened to the bread well this seemed like a good and appropriate spot just to pause for a minute and point out the importance of making sure you're safe <clears throat> you know I, as i mentioned before i'd never tried uh, this method of baking but you know i knew that um the tea light candles were not likely to be a huge hazard. Um, the only time I've ever seen anybody do this before was out on a countertop or, um, you know, somewhere like that, which is not that often that I've even seen it. Um, I think it's a, a pretty much an unpracticed and unknown method of baking, uh, at least based off of my perception. So make sure you're safe, folks, when you're prepping. Um, when you're trying new things, especially, make sure you're safe. Thank goodness, um, 
I had decided to put that little pan underneath the um, the tea light candles for them to rest on. And, um, you know, one of them went out or one of them got too hot there in that enclosed space, I think. And, and then the wax just started burning instead of the wick. And, um, you know, when we tried to blow it out, I think it just added fuel to the fire and maybe sloshed some of the melted wax around. So it just kind of flamed up. So we just, we didn't have a choice at that point, but just to pull it out and, um, you know, remove it from the house and just let it burn out. <clears throat> so lesson learned is, um, be very careful <laughs> when you're cooking with anything, uh, you know, in an unorthodox method and make sure you're there and have someone watching it. The, um, you know, I think the results of of this experiment or this uh, project would have probably been better outside of the oven uh, where it didn't get so hot. When I uh, removed the Dutch oven, it was so hot that I had to use uh, pot holders. So um, it had gotten quite hot inside the oven and, and I think that wax just ignited. I don't think that would have happened out in an open air environment. So anyway, let's uh, go into the rest of the video and see the results. Did I scorch the bread? Is it just a lump of raw dough? Let's go look and see. Okay, let's just see, other than the mishap with the wax catching on fire, the the Dutch oven is way too hot to touch, but look at that. I didn't expect it to brown on top like a normal oven, but... It may be done. Let me uh, let me take it out of there and um, and we'll see what's going on. I'll dump it out and we'll cut it open and see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. The grand reveal. Let's see if it's raw inside or if it actually cooked. You can see it. It actually uh, looks like a loaf of bread. It didn't brown on top as much as a regular oven, but look at that. Tea light candles. It's soft, it's squishy. Got a little bit brown on the bottom, but that could have just been from, uh, you know, being too close to the heat. Maybe I should have had it further away, but look at that, folks. So, emergency disaster bread cooked with tea light candles in a Dutch oven. I encourage you to give it a try yourself, but don't leave it unattended, um, as evidenced by the the candles spilling and catching on fire that you saw um, earlier. So, as always, I encourage you to seek the wisdom of our Lord and Savior. Be prepared. God bless. I'm the Bearded Prepper signing off.